All right, let's try to find the formal charge on the atoms in a molecule. So the exercise says, identify the formal charges in the molecule below. And you have phosphate and the amino acid glycine. So formal charge, you can find the formal charge by taking the number of valence electrons that are normally around an atom when it's neutral and subtracting the dots and the lines around the atom in the, when it's bonded in the molecule. So for example, for phosphate, we have to choose an atom first. Let's do oxygen. So here again, the, the formula for formal charge is formal charge equals valence electrons around the atom normally minus the dots and the lines. So oxygen is in group 6A, so that column there, 6A, which means it has six valence electrons. There are six dots around that oxygen. There is one line, and so the formula for formal charge gives us six minus seven, which is negative one. So that oxygen has a negative one charge. And if you look at the other three oxygens in the molecule, they all are in the same case. They're all oxygens, they have six valence electrons, they all have six dots and one line. So that by the formula, they all have six minus seven or negative one charge on them. All right, let's try to do the same thing with phosphorus. So phosphorus is in column 5A, so it has five valence electrons. There are zero dots around the phosphorus. There are four lines. So the formula for formal charge gives us five minus four, which is a plus one charge on that phosphorus. And so that is all of the formal charges on phosphate. And if you want to see what this molecule looks like three-dimensionally, it looks like this. The orange atom in the middle is the phosphorus, and the three red or the four red atoms are the oxygens. All right, let's try to find all the formal charges on glycine on each of the atoms in the amino acid glycine, starting with nitrogen. So the formula for formal charge again is that the formal charge equals the valence electrons minus the dots and the lines around the atom. So nitrogen is in column 5a, so it has five valence electrons. Then we're going to subtract the dots and the lines. It has zero dots, four lines. So the formula for formal charge gives us five minus four, which is one, a plus one charge on that nitrogen. Okay, moving over to the carbon next to it. Carbon is in group 4A, so it has four valence electrons. There are zero dots around that carbon and four lines, so the formula for formal charge will give us four minus four, or zero charge on that carbon. Moving to the next carbon, that also is in column or group number 4a, so it has four valence electrons. There are zero dots around it, four lines, so it's four minus four, or zero charge on that carbon. All right, how about the oxygen on the far right? So oxygen is in column 6a, so it has six valence electrons. There are six dots around that oxygen, one line, so the formula for formal charge gives us six minus seven, or a negative one charge on that oxygen. There's a negative one charge. How about the oxygen in the double bond? So again, it's oxygen, so it's in group 6A, so it has 
six valence electrons. It has four dots around it and two lines. So formula for formal charge gives us six minus six or a zero charge on that oxygen. Last but not least, hydrogen. Hydrogen is in column 1a. So it has one valence electron. There are no dots around that hydrogen and there is one line. So the formula for formal charge gives us one minus one or zero charge. And if you look around the molecule, all the other hydrogens are in the same case. They have no lone pairs and one bond, so they're all going to have a zero charge. So that is all of the formal charges on, or those are all of the formal charges on the amino acid glycine. And if you're interested in what that molecule looks like three-dimensionally, it would look like this.